Good morning, this is morning prayer for Saturday, February the 19th, 2011. It's year one, Epiphany six, and week six of the Psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalm 33, Isaiah chapter 66, verse one through six, and Revelation 15, verse three through four. Open my lips, my mouth shall declare your praise, alleluia. Alleluia, for the word of Yahweh is faithful, and all God's works done in truth. Alleluia. Psalm 33. Ring out your joy, O you just, for praise is fitting for loyal hearts. Give thanks upon the harp, with a ten-string lute play your songs. Sing a song that is new, play loudly with all your skill. For the word of Yahweh is faithful, and all God's works done in truth. Yahweh loves justice and right, and fills the earth with love. By God's word the heavens were made, by the breath of God's mouth all the stars. God collects the waves of the ocean, and stores up the depths of the sea. Let all the earth fear God, all who live in the world stand in awe. For God spoke and it came to be. God commanded, it sprang into being. Yahweh foils the designs of the nations and defeats the plans of the people. The counsel of Yahweh stands forever, the plans of God's heart from age to age. They are happy whose God is Yahweh, the people who are chosen as God's own. From the heavens, Yahweh looks forth and sees all the peoples of the earth. From the heavenly dwelling, God gazes on all the dwellers of the earth, God who shapes the hearts of them all and considers all their deeds. A king is not saved by his army, nor a warrior preserved by his strength. A vain hope for safety is the horse. Despite its power, it cannot save. Yahweh looks on those who fear him, on those who hope in Yahweh's love to rescue their souls from death to keep them alive in famine. Our soul is waiting for you. You are our help and our shield. Our hearts find joy in you, and we trust in your holy name. May your love be upon us as we place all our hope in you. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. For the word of Yahweh is faithful, and all God's works done in truth. Alleluia. The lesson is from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 66, beginning at verse 1. Thus says Yahweh, The heavens are my judgment steep, the earth is my footstool. Where is the house you will build for me? Where will my resting place be? Wasn't all of this made by my hand? Doesn't all of this belong to me? The one I esteem is humble and contrite in spirit and reveres my word. Slaughtering an ox is like murdering a person. Sacrificing a lamb is like breaking a dog's neck. Presenting a grain offering is like offering swine's blood. Burning incense is like worshiping an idol. Since people have adopted these practices and delight in these abominations, I will choose to mock them and bring them upon them what they dread. For when I called, no one responded. When I spoke, no one listened. They did what was evil in my sight and chose what displeased me. Hear the word of Yahweh, you who revere God's word your own people who are hostile to you and reject you for my name's sake. Mock you and say, let Yahweh be manifest in glory. Let us see your joy. But they will be put to shame, that roaring noise from the city. The thunder you hear in the temple is the voice of God punishing the evildoers for their blasphemy. Here ends the lesson. Now let us offer our prayers and petitions for all people in their daily life and work, for our families and friends and neighbors, and for those who are alone. For this community, the nation, and the world, for all who work for justice, freedom, and peace. 
for the just and the proper use of your creation, for the victims of hunger, fear, injustice, and oppression, for peace in Jerusalem and unity in the church, for all who proclaim the gospel and all who seek the truth, for Joe and Tom and Alan, and for all of our church leaders and other ministers, for all who serve God in the church. For the sick, especially Steve and Michael. For the unemployed, especially Robert and Brian. We pray for all who died, especially Walter Arthur, that they may have a place in your eternal kingdom. For the mercy of God community, that it may continue to rush towards Christ that God who's begun this ministry may bring it to fulfillment. For the intentions of those who've asked our prayers and for all of your intentions. Our beloved in heaven, holy your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us as we forgive others. Save us from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Alleluia! Great and amazing are your deeds. Alleluia! The song of Moses, the servant of God, and the song of the Lamb. Great and amazing are your deeds, Lord God Almighty. Just and true are your ways, King of the nations. Who will not fear and glorify your name? For you alone are holy, all nations will come and worship before you, for your judgments have been revealed. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. Alleluia. Great and amazing are your deeds. Alleluia. Bless Yahweh my soul. And glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation, in the church and in Christ Jesus, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia.